Top 10 Mega Construction Projects That Will Be a Game Changer in Africa Hello Explorers, welcome back to another exciting edition and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be taking you around the beautiful continents of Africa and we shall be shining the light on the top 10 mega projects currently going on in Africa. From the construction of new cities, refineries and dams, Africa is more than ever before witnessing the executions of some of its biggest projects. These projects are some of the most expensive the continent has ever known and upon completion will change the face of Africa in several ways. For so many years, Africa was far behind when it came to infrastructural development but the continent is gradually catching up with the rest of the world. From beautiful stadiums and exotic bridges, the continent is rising up to the challenge. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. There are several massive projects currently ongoing in Africa but these are the ones that really stand out. So in no particular order, these are the top 10 ongoing mega projects in Africa. Number 1. Egypt's new capital city, Egypt In a couple of years, Egypt will be joining 30 other countries who in recent years have relocated their capital city to new cities, including countries like Brazil, Australia and Nigeria. Egypt is currently busy with the construction of a brand new city from scratch, which will serve as the country's administrative hub. The new capital city, which will cost about $58 billion, will cover over 700 square kilometers or 270 square miles, making it about the size of Singapore and will be located 35 kilometers east of Cairo. Egypt is building the new capital to create many opportunities for housing and employment, putting in mind that Egypt's population will almost double in the next 40 years. The goal is also to eliminate the crowdedness that is one of the biggest problems now in Cairo because of the increasing population. The city is planned to consist of 21 residential districts and 25 dedicated districts. Its downtown is to have skyscrapers and a tall monument set to resemble the Eiffel Tower and Washington Monument. The city will also have a park double the size of New York City's Central Park, artificial lakes, about 2,000 educational institutions, a technology and innovation park, 663 hospitals and clinics, 1,250 mosques and churches, 40,000 hotel rooms, a major theme park four times the size of Disneyland, 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms, an electric railway link with Cairo and a new international airport at the site of the Egyptian Air Force's existing Wadi al-Jandali airport. It will be built as a smart city. It is planned that the transfer of parliaments, presidential palaces, government ministries and foreign embassies will be completed between 2020 and 2022 at a cost of over 45 billion US dollars. A full cost of the city is estimated at 58 billion dollars and upon completion will be hands down the most beautiful city in Africa. China State Construction Engineering Corporation, Arab contractors Wadi El Nile for contracting and real estate investment, Egyptian Spanish Alliance CSCEC company, which is ranked as the best company among 250 global contracting companies, are the companies currently in charge of that construction. The completion date for the project has not been disclosed. We wish Egypt all the best for the giant step. Number 2. The Grand Inga Dam, DR Congo. The Inga Dam are two hydroelectric dams connected to one of the largest waterfalls in the world, Inga Falls. They are located in the Western Democratic Republic of the Congo and 140 miles southwest of Kinshasa. There are currently two Inga Dams, Inga 1 and Inga 2, but the construction of a third Inga Dam 3 is under construction. The dam is designed to have an average output of 39,000 megawatts annually, nearly twice as much as the Three Gorges Dam in China making it the world's largest hydropower scheme. Grand Inga Dam is expected to cost an estimated $100 billion, including the cost of transmission lines needed to carry its power across the continent. The project was expected to begin by December 2016. However, in July of that year, the World Bank withdrew its funding following disagreement over the project. The first phase grant would have totaled $73.1 million. US dollars. Some observers are skeptical of the project, citing its high cost in a country known for its endemic corruption, risking little benefit to the population. In 2017, proposals were for a 10 to 12 GW dam, up from 4.8 GW in earlier plans, with potential completion sometime after 2024. While construction plans for Phase 3 were reported to be on track in late 2019, a major potential member of the construction consortium, Spanish firm's ACS Group, dropped out in January 2020 leaving uncertainty with remaining Chinese and German partners. The successful execution of this project will be a game changer not only in Congo but Africa. Number 3. Dangote Oil Refinery, Nigeria The Dangote Refinery is a 650,000 barrels per day integrated refinery and petrochemical project under construction in the Lake Free Zone near Lagos. It is expected to be Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility upon completion in 2020. 
Dangote's oil refinery, a company owned by the Nigeria-based Dangote Group, is developing the project with an estimated investment of $12 billion. The Dangote refinery will process a variety of light and medium grades of crude to produce Euro V quality clean fuels, including gasoline and diesel, as well as jet fuel and polypropylene. Estimated to hold 37 billion barrels of proven oil reserves, Nigeria is the second biggest oil rich country in Africa after Libya. The West African country is, however, dependent on imported refined fuel products due to lack of domestic refining capacities. The Dangote refinery will increase Nigeria's refining capacity twofold and help meet the increasing domestic fuel demand, while generating foreign exchange through exports. The processing facilities for the Dangote refinery include a crude distillation unit and associated facilities, a mild hydro cracking unit, a residual fluid catalytic cracking unit, a naphtha hydro treater, and a gasoline hydro sulfurization unit, as well as icalation units. The refinery complex will also house sulfur recovery and hydrogen generation facilities and a polypropylene unit, comprising two steam methane reformer units. The hydrogen generation facility will generate 200,000 normal cubic meters per hour of hydrogen and steam to produce sulfur free fuels. A group of local and international banks led by Standard Chartered Bank has agreed to provide a $3.3 billion syndicated loan facility for the project. The United States Trade and Development Agency is providing 251.3 billion Naira training grants for the human resource development for the refinery operation. The Integrated Refinery and Petrochemical Project is expected to generate 9,500 direct and 25,000 indirect jobs. The project was meant to be completed by 2020, but with the current pandemic plaguing the world, we doubt that would be possible. Number 4. Konza Technology City, Kenya Kenya has embarked on construction of a $14.5 billion technology city in Machakos County in a bid to attract technology talent and investors to drive its economic growth. Konza City, which is located 64 kilometers south of the capital Nairobi, is modeled around the U.S. Silicon Valley, hence the Monica African Silicon Savannah. The smart city targets business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and research institutions. Konza has so far attracted several wealthy investors, including a leading Korean university, although the slow pace of the project is raising concerns among its key stakeholders. The project, which was born in 2012, only started in August 2018. The project is divided into various stages. The first stage, which is ongoing, will cost 39 billion Kenyan shillings. The entire project will include the design of roads, parks, and IST connectivity. It is expected to be completed by 2021. Number 5. Mambila Hydroelectric Power Station, Nigeria Nigeria is undertaking construction of a mega hydropower dam as it seeks to boost its energy production. Dubbed Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project, the facility which has been planned for more than three decades is one of the biggest construction projects in Africa. The Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project, which is being undertaken by China's Sino Hydro Corp at a cost of $5.8 billion, will be connected to three dams across the Donga River in Taraba State, Nigeria. The Exim Bank of China has agreed to lend 85% that's $4.93 billion US dollars towards the construction. The funds will be paid directly to the construction consortium in trenches as the work progresses. The Federal Government of Nigeria has committed to contribute 15%, $870 million US dollars of the construction cost. The facility will have a total installed capacity of 3,050 milliwatts of electricity. Though there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the execution of the project, the project is set to be completed by 2030. Construction of this power station is expected to generate 50,000 temporary and permanent jobs. The power generated will be sold to Transmission Company of Nigeria, which will transmit it to two locations, where it will be integrated into the Nigerian electricity grid. One 330 kV high voltage transmission line will connect to Jalingo, and four 500 kV high voltage transmission lines will connect to Makurdi. Number 6. Grand Ethiopian Dam, Ethiopia The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, formerly known as the Millennium Dam, it's a gravity dam under construction on the Blue Nile River in Benishwagi Gumus in Ethiopia. Work on the 6,000 milliwatts dam began in 2011 and is now 70% complete, way behind the July 2017 completion date. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa and the seventh largest in the world once it gets completed. It is estimated that the reservoir will take 5 to 15 years to fill with water depending on hydrologic conditions during the filling period and agreements reached between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt. The Ethiopian government has stated that it intends to fund the entire cost of the dam by itself in order to prevent relying on foreign countries who may be brought under pressure by Egypt to withdraw their support. Ethiopia has issued a bond targeted at Ethiopians in the country and abroad to that end. 
the turbines and associated electrical equipment of the hydropower plants costing about 1.8 billion US dollars are reportedly financed by Chinese banks. This would leave 3 billion US dollars to be financed by the Ethiopian government through other means. The estimated 4.8 billion US dollars construction cost, apparently excluding the cost of power transmission lines, corresponds to about 5% of Ethiopia's gross domestic product, 87 billion US dollars in 2017. The facility is, however, facing criticisms for rights groups who argued that it has displaced nearly 20,000 people. Number 7. The Bagamoyo Port, Tanzania The Bagamoyo Port is being constructed in Bagamoyo, Tanzania. Contracts to begin port construction were signed in October 2015 and were set to complete Phase 1 of the construction project in 2017. The project was cancelled, however, by a new government three months later in January 2016. In 2011, the project got the go-ahead and work started in about June to July. It will be built in association with the state-owned China Merchant Sport. It will also include the Special Economic Zone. The $10 billion project is backed by an Omani Sovereign Wealth Fund. It is planned to be one of the largest government infrastructure projects in the country. The Bagamoyo port and its affiliate industrial zone is meant to address congestion at the old port and to port Tanzania to become East Africa's leading shipping and logistics center. The port is set to handle 20 million TEU by 2045 and will be the largest port in East Africa when completed. The project is a three government venture between Tanzania, China and Oman. The port is to handle 25 times the amount of cargo of Dar es Salaam port and will help reduce the congestion at the port. Number 8. Kenya Standard Gold Railway, Kenya The Kenya Standard Gold Railway is a railway system that will connect Kenya cities and link the country to the neighboring countries of Uganda and through Uganda to South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Rwanda and Burundi. There are also plans to link to Addis Ababa in neighboring Ethiopia to the north. Other segments are under construction or planned. The new Standard Gauge Railway SGR, is intended to replace the old, inefficient Meta Gauge Railway system. The first phase of the project, which spans 472 kilometers from Mombasa to Nairobi, has been completed at the cost of 3.27 billion US dollars, while phase 2A from Nairobi to Naivasha, 120 kilometers, is currently under construction at the cost of 1.5 billion dollars. On the other hand, phase 2B of the new railway from Naivasha to Kisumu, 270 km is set to cost $3.8 billion, while Phase 2C, a 107 km extension from Kisumu to Malaba, will consume $1.31 billion. Number 9. Kakulo Kabasa Hydroelectric Plant, Angola Angola is currently constructing the Kakulo Kabasa Hydroelectric Plant in Dondo. The plant, which is 103 meters high, will be the largest hydroelectric complex in the country, with a capacity to produce 2,172 megawatts of power after Lausa with 2,070 megawatts, and is the fourth such project built along the middle Kwanzaa after the Kabanda and Lausa and Kambambe dams. The 4.5 billion US dollars facility is being built by the China Gang Super Group Co Limited and continuous investments by Chinese financiers and businesses into the African country's economy. China is Angola's largest trading partner, while Angolan infrastructure projects have benefited from nearly $50 billion in total Chinese investments, according to the Chinese embassy. Work on Kakolo Kabasha started in 2017 and is scheduled to take 80 months, during which China Genzuba expects to hire as many as 10,000 workers. CGGC will also be responsible for operating and maintaining the plant for a four year period after its completion, as well as providing training for Angolan technical personnel. Number 10. Point Noir Special Economic Zone, Republic of Congo. The Point Noir Special Economic Zone project in the Republic of Congo is a development project that will cover nearly 9,000 acres near a strategically important port that also serves as a hub for the oil industry. It will bring vital infrastructure and manufacturing to this key area that serves as the backbone of the country's economy. Once completed, the Point Noir Special Economic Zone is expected to stimulate economic activities in the Republic of Congo, while also creating more than 100,000 jobs for country citizens. The project is expected to generate $1.1 billion by 2022, $2.1 billion by 2026, and $3.5 billion by 2031. There you have it, Desplorers. Those were 10 major construction projects currently going on in Africa. We know there are several ongoing amazing projects that have not been mentioned in this video, so feel free to mention some of them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, do like it and share with your friends.